All right, catching knot of stores here. I was out here a couple days ago and I absolutely slayed the bull red. So I talked to my son, Marlon, this is Marlon. Um, he wanted to come out here and do the same thing I did. So that's what we're doing. We're out here in the kayak. Pretty sure we're right in the same spot pretty much as I did uh, 20 bull reds in about three hours, two days ago. All right guys, here's my rig. I got a hundred pound mono leader, a one ounce um, sinker and an eight aught circle. And I got a chunk of ladyfish. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on out. Okay, there's the bait going out. Perfect, Let's make sure our drag's nice and low. Just a little bit, maybe. Let's see what happens there. This one here, go ahead and fight this. Wait. Put your hand a little higher. Okay. okay guys, we're bit. We got a fish over here. I'm not sure what it is, fight him. That way he didn't go underneath our anchor. Don't drop that rod. There you go. Yeah, it's all right. Just keep hold them off that side. Oh, don't drop it. Oh God. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you did a good job. What is that thing? Oh, I see it. What is that? It's a it's a kind of hammerhead. What? I think it's just a normal hammerhead. What? I don't think that's a bonnet head, dude. Yeah, that's a normal hammerhead. What? Is it a bonnet? I'm pretty sure that's a greater hammer. A little bit, yeah. Guys, look at that. I think that's a hammerhead right there. Greater hammerhead, I'm pretty sure. Got that huge face to it. Wow, that was really cool, guys. That's a most ever normal hammerhead. Oh, oh, jeez, dad, stop it. Jeez, oh, no. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's a big fish. All right, you want to fight him? Here, why don't you jump up right here in my, like, right into the seat. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put it in front of you. So we can double team him. Nice and nice. Right, I'm gonna move this one. Make sure you got him, okay? Don't drop the rod. Just let me know if you need help, okay? Alright, we got our little fish clipper things. Dude, I think you got him. I think you got our bull red. Alright, guys, I think we're hooked up on our bull red. This is our first one of the day on a little chunk of mullet. That's actually the same chunk that we caught that hammerhead on. This looks to be about a 48 inch red, maybe 50. It's a, just an absolute stud red. I can see him up on top. Maybe not quite that big, but yeah, he's a giant fish. I'm gonna let Marlon take the rest of this fight. I worked it in about 30, 40 yards for him, but here he is fighting it. He's seven years old, doing a great job. Yeah, just hang on. You're doing good. All right, reel down, reel down, reel down, reel down. I'm scared it's so strong, it's, it's just gonna make the water go. Through. No, I, I've got it, okay. Yeah. You just gotta keep it tight, that's the big thing. He should give up here in a second. I yeah. uh, see him, he's right up top, see him? Okay. See him right there? Keep working him, keep working him. Ooh. Keep working him, keep working him. Okay, if I can get the leader, I should be able to beat him. Crank down when you can. You're doing a good job. Okay, she's in so much current here. I'm gonna help you out, okay? We'll call that, we'll call that a win right there. Here, you can scoot forward for me. Ooh, you're right. Ooh, look at how big she is, bro. I don't know, but it's a big one. Okay, so. How is it not the biggest? Let's put this in here. And we're gonna get the fish, fish grip things. Uh, I'm not sure. I knew some of them were males last time because they were putting off their reproductive uh, juices. Really the best way to put it. Okay, so why don't you flip around real quick? So turn and face me. Just do it nice and slow. And then scoot back as far as you can. Maybe sit back up on that thing. Yeah, just right there. Okay, and then watch your feet because I'm going to put this red like right here in between us, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put her kind of on your lap. She can't really oh, hurt you. She's a girl. Is she? Okay, yeah. hold on to that. She's putting you everywhere. Oh, that's a guy. Okay, hold on to that. Hold on to this. This is a guy. All right, let's get you a couple things. Bro, this is the craziest thing. She flopped. She's going away. You're doing good. All right, smile. Big. Good job, Marlon. I can't even believe that. That's a giant. That's like 46, 47 inches. All right, we're gonna get her back. Okay, so we're gonna take her off this way. Perfect. And now what we're doing is we 
want to let her go. So the current's going this way, right? So we're gonna let the water flow. Yeah, I can get that off the best you can. <laughs> yeah, it's gross. Okay, she should be good. Yeah, there she goes. See her? Woo! There she goes, she's going down. Juices. Good job, dude. I thought the male <laughs> had the juice. Yeah, the male's got the juice. All right, guys, I wanted to show off my setup real quick. I got an eight-aught circle hook, a one-ounce weight, 100-pound uh, mono leader, and I got 65-pound braid. Daiwa BG 5000 and Shimano Talavera boat. Four hooks up again, four red. Here, take this. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and jump up if you want. I don't know, he's not acting quite as big. Yeah, it might be a catfish actually, but you can go ahead and get it up there. It's alright, crank on him, okay. It's Let me know if you need any help, okay. Oh, no, that's fine. No, he's still cutting sideways. Careful when they get in close, that's where you gotta be careful. You gotta try to hang it. Hold it off the kayak, okay? Okay. You scoot forward, okay? All right, guys, it looks like we caught another hammerhead. I'm pretty positive this is a greater hammerhead. I, I don't think that's a bonnet head. I might be making a fool out of myself and it's just a bonnet head, but I don't think their heads are that wide, you know? Okay, let's try a little bit different method this time. Grabble with the globbles. Yeah. And then he bleeds like that. Huh? He didn't bleed. You did that and then I thought I saw a little bit of blood on the bottom of his mouth. It's so hard to get fish right where you want to sometimes. Yeah, like this one. He has such a flat I got him. He has such a flat head. Flat looking gecko. Let's put this right here. He's like, <gasps> hey, why don't you do your little flip around maneuver like you did before? Uh, I do not want to stand that left. All right, well, I'll help you hold them, and you can just grab onto this, okay? I just don't want I'll just hold onto him. Teeth. Okay, that's cool, right? Yeah. That should be a good picture. Good. Let's turn his little. Careful. I'm gonna turn his head so you can see. Come on. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna let him go. See little guy. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh yeah, that's another one, bro. Yeah, that's another door red, probably. Are you sure? No, actually, like the other one. Yeah, let's do it like the other one. Here, come up here. That's a big fish. All right, let me check. You're pretty low, okay? Nice and high up here. Reel on him. Oh, I think we're a bit on this one too. I think we're in into a double on big fish. We are. Unless I got something small. I guess I get the one. I think mine's a mega cat. Yeah, it's mega. No, yours is a big old bull red. Don't let him go, okay? I'll turn down your drag even more. Yeah, you got a big one. Ow, 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 ow. Chill, bro. Chill. Chill, bro. No, no, he's still there. Your rod's still bent. I'm gonna put this one away and I'll come help you out, okay? He's really tired, I think. Yeah, he's on, he's on. We were probably towing ourselves to him, too, though. I was getting off my gaff top. Marlon's just up here slaying this fish, just working her, doing a good job at it too. So I'm gonna let him fight it. Pretty sure that's another bull red. Let me know if you need help, buddy, okay? Oh, what is that? It's a red. I saw him. He's a big one. He's a big one. Nice. I just reeled this guy in. He totally did, dude, by yourself. Yeah, you're doing a really good job, Marlon. All right, we're gonna go for uh, Marlon's perspective here. 
The little hands cranking away. I cannot get the rest of this. I think you can. Look, she's right there on the surface. See her? You were so close. My hand is just Your so hand is so tired. Oh, I see her. She's strong. Look at this. I can't even move her. My hand is tired and very... Sometimes you can just get... Ooh, strong like, fish. Sure. Ooh. My hand is very stressed. Look at She's right there. You met, look at that thing. Oh, look at how crazy she is. She's huge. Whoa! Woo! My hand hurts from pulling this thing. <laughs> it looks awfully green below us. Must be in some good water. There she is. All right, let's try to get our, oh, our gripper. Yeah, there they are. And uh, yeah, so these fish, Marlin, when they're this size, they're actually over 40 years old. That's pretty crazy, right? I gotta keep her off the off the kayak. I broke one off last time. I don't think this one's quite as big as your last one, but she's a big fish. Okay, if I can grab the weaver, got it. Um, will you hold on to the rod for me? Uh, I dropped it. I I, uh, I let go of the leader. I think I should be able to get her now. I don't know if. Okay, go ahead. She's really strong. What happened here? Uh oh. Oh, she freaked me up pretty good. I think we're about to lose her. That's right. Luckily, it's a. Dude, she's the strongest fish ever. I'm just gonna hold her up real quick. Okay. And now, we got another one. And we can put on my lap. I can't even. Dude, she's too big. Alright, guys, there's our second bull rat of the day. She's pretty big. She's probably like 43 inches, 44, somewhere around there. Really nice fish. We're gonna go ahead and get her on back. So let's just slide her this way. You all right? Okay, so which way do we want her to be facing, Marlon? This way. Yeah, we want her face towards the rig, kind of, because the current's coming this way, you know what I mean? So how do we know whenever she's ready? She should bite down. There, she's biting. I think we're good. Come on, little fishies. Come on, fishies. All you little fishies. There she goes. There she goes. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We came out here, and uh, this is the first time I've ever brought Marlin out to the beach past, you know, just dropping baits for uh, sharks. So this is the furthest he's ever been out. It's probably the biggest fish he's ever caught in a kayak. We caught two huge bull reds over 45 inches, and honestly, that was just an amazing day. If y'all want to see more of that on the channel, let me know. We'll come back out here. We'll do it again. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.